Hey, hi everyone and welcome to another weekly connection. So today we want to talk about how our thoughts are part of the cycle of action. And um, we're going to go ahead, St. Germain is on the ball. <laughs> we're going to use our aura cleanse just to clear whatever schmooze might be in your aura. Hang on, I got stuff blowing around. There we go. Just to clear whatever schmooz might be in your aura. And then our cosmic thrust oil, which will help us transcend time and space and connect us heaven and earth. So we gather the esters, we bring that up, and we bring it into our aura, cup our hands together. Mm, I love that smell. Deep breath in. Good. Thank you. All right. So what do I mean by that? What is, what is it that Jawal Khal is trying to say when he's saying our thoughts are part of the cycle of action? Well, we've talked about how our thoughts are manifestation. In other words, what you think you manifest, what you believe you manifest. But there's a cycle of action and reaction that occurs. So if you have a negative thought, it will bring you negative action, negative stuff in your life, right? Negative, negative things will happen. So it's very, very important, as we know, to keep negative thoughts out of our heads and stay only in positive thought because positive thought will keep us in the cycle of positive action. Without that, remember last time we talked about the heart, the heart and the thoughts, it goes the same, bringing the mind into the heart so that now our thoughts are coming from love. But if you want to manifest in your life, if you want to manifest good things, then you can't be thinking bad things. And you can't be judging people and going, oh, look at that, or they're so and so and so and so. It's not going to get you there. It's going to get you more chaos, more problems in your life by pointing the finger at someone else and their behavior. So it's very, very important that we understand the cycle of thought because the cycle of thought is what creates the manifestation in your life. More than ever, with all the negative stuff that is around us and all the propaganda that is in the world today, there's only one thing that matters. And you know what that is. It's love. You can have an opinion, but you cannot have a judgment. Now, what do I mean? How can you not have a judgment when you have an opinion? It's very simple, really. I have an opinion about what I like or what I don't like. I love the color blue in every shade that is created. I'm not hot on the color red and the color black, brown, you know, orange. Ah, it's not my favorite colors. I have an opinion about those colors. But do I judge orange as bad or red as bad or black as bad? No, I just don't like them as much. So you can have an opinion, but you may not have a judgment. And that's what we need to work on. That is part of what we're talking about. Joel Call is trying to say is the cycle of thought. If I sit there and go, orange, well, if a person wears orange, they have to be bad. What is that going to bring me? Ah. That's going to mean me bad manifestations in my life because I judged someone wearing orange. Now, I know that's ridiculous, but I'm just trying to get the point across, right? Because I have opinions. I have strong opinions. I really don't like the color orange. <laughs> that's bad. And he wears orange. <laughs> It looks good on him. It would look like poop on me. 
<laughs> and I wouldn't enjoy wearing it for one moment. <laughs> so that's the difference, right? In that you can have your opinion, but you cannot have a judgment. The judgment will block any positive action from coming through thought. And thought is where we manifest, right? In uh, the um, conscious intention that sits on your thymus, which is part of your throat chakra, which is in our expression. That's why it's there, because of the expression, the manifestation. But it starts with a thought. And that thought must come from the heart. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make this world a happy, lovely place. And let's get the heck rid of duality once and for all. Oh, that will be a happy day. All right. So we're going to bring that light in from source, that yummy, yummy golden light. I love that light. And it comes in and it just saturates every cell, every pore, every part of you is soaked with that yummy, yummy, comforting, protective light. Because it's the yang energy of that light, right? It gives you strength, power, dynamism, whatever you need. But it's power, loving power. And we bring it on down and right into the earth. Boom, just shoot it right out your feet. You've done this before. And you feel the grid, how she's growing. The mother is growing in 5D. So we need to hurry up and get with it, right? Good. And then we crunch onto that grid and we bring that back up the back of us with the essence of the mother. And she is so happy that you are here and that you are tethered heaven and earth as you bring that light around. Heaven and earth, round and round round and round nice beautiful step one step two bring it up up your back with the essence of the mother which is that nurturing that loving mama energy right that caring and compassion back up and out the top of your head as it waterfalls filling your aura my hair is getting winded. <laughs> All right. So we bring it out into our root aura. And we fill our root aura. So as always, we are dissolving 3D character dualities within the DNA structure of humanity. And let's whack that. Let's really get that. And then we bring it out to the sacral chakra where we want to dissolve all of those dogmas, all of those criticisms and judgments, limited beliefs that keep us in duality. Because we, you and I, are done with duality. And we must do it through the cycle of thought. So in the sacral chakra, we want to just blast all those limited thoughts that keep us in the cycle of duality and drama. And then we bring it out into our solar plexus where our power center is. And in that power center, we don't show ego, we show love. And love is the ultimate power. Love will change everything. Whether you believe that or not, it is so. So we radiate that love because we know it is so. And then we bring it up into our throat. Remember the conscious intent is right below it, right here. Blast that one too, because this is where it is. And we just blast that energy through and through, from front to back. Move that energy, move that energy through there. So that our intention and our thoughts are loving, kind, compassionate. Love, kindness, compassion. We say it over and over again because it's all that is. And that is how we manifest a light world. And we bring it into our throat so that all that we are, all that we speak, all that we say, all that we think is love. It comes from love. 
Do you have an opinion? Yeah, that's fine. Right? It doesn't matter what your opinion is as long as you don't judge others for your opinions, of your opinions, with your opinions. And then into the third eye. We, we have no doubt that we are getting this job done. We are doing a doggone good job at getting this thing done. <laughs> and we are so anxious. The mother is a little bit ahead of us, is ahead of the vibration of humanity. So this cycle of thought and action is very important right now for us so that we are coming from that place of love so that we are coming from positive thoughts so that we can shift our vibration and other humans with us that are ready because we have no doubt this job is getting done and then your crown chakra uh, feel that energy that shows that you are the light seed for planet Earth. That shows that you are on track as a star child on planet Earth. And you wear that crown brightly and you shine it big and strong for all to see. And you don't worry about being seen. Some people worry about that. Don't worry. Sometimes you attract a negative force that's trying to get to the light. Just whack them with that gold light. That's all you have to do. And all will be well. I come from love, not fear. Because if you come from fear, you know, eh, game over, right? Do it again, round two. Because we all have a, we're wired more for fear than we are for love. So it's very important if you fall into something that makes you frightened or that you have concerns over, that you really fill yourself with light. Change your thoughts. Just deliberately change your thoughts into how do I shift that into light. You have a problem, you make it light. All you have to do is hold the light as a star child. That is your job. That was my first lesson as a child when the celestials were working with me, was how to hold the light if they threw me in a vat of dark. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what's coming at you. You are the light. And they have no effect on you unless you feel fear. So it's extremely important that those thoughts remain light, that your thoughts remain heart loving even to the biggest boogiest thing you ever saw really 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 they only want light it's very important to know that so you wear that crown bright don't be afraid embrace it love it be proud of it and then orbit it out into your aura 18 inches so that others can munch and crunch that light and dissolve all of their negative patterns. That's what we do as light seeds. We provide the light. And then we get to reflect on other people's issues so that we understand, so that we become more loving, kind, and compassionate. It's not hard, but it does take concentration. It does take perseverance, but no, that you are doing well and that we are getting there very rapidly. So let's be very, very aware of the circle of action, that the thoughts create that circle of what we manifest in our lives. So if you want to manifest love or you want to manifest prosperity or you, whatever you want to manifest, it has to come from that loving thought without doubt or fear and bring it around and it manifests. You see? So let's do it. Let's break up this duality. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. <laughs> and we, I know we all are. We're all really tired of this level. So let's get to work. We're doing a great job. I love you all, and I'll see you next time.